Bienvenidos y bienvenidas. Welcome to Reforma Virtual Spanish Language Book Plus Summer Series. My name is Anna Campos and I'm a librarian at Los Angeles Public Library. I'm a former Reforma National Secretary. This free event is open to librarians, educators, students, and professionals interested in serving Latino and Spanish speaking communities. In our last session of the series, we have Tomo Books, Latin American Bookstores, and Spanish Publishers. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. My name is Manny Figueroa, and I am the Talent Development and Training Manager at the Queens Public Library. I also serve on Reforma's Executive Committee as the Chapter Representative for the East Region and the Treasurer of the Northeast Chapter. Our first presenter today is Jesse Ituarte from Tomo Books. For more information about this company and contact information, please visit reforma.org slash bookbuzz. And remember to use our hashtag Reforma, all caps, book buzz. Feel free to add your questions in the comment box during the presentation, and they will be answered at the end. As a reminder, these presentations are being recorded for future viewing. Welcome, Jesse. Okay. Can you hear me? Hello, can everybody yes. hear me? Yes. Okay, um, there again, there's my information, there's my phone number, my email, and our website. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or give me a call. That's my cell number, so you can reach me at any time. And let's start with the first books that I have to offer. Okay, this is part of our retro series. We have class that we redid all the classics in our retro series with new covers that seem to, um, with the youth and the younger generation, seem to be going over very well. Um, this is um, Edgar Allan Poe, his poems. And the book, the side of the book is all in purple and it's got a new cover which stands out with bright colors, the same great poems, but just an updated version, which, you know, draws in the younger younger readers. And let's go to the next um, next book. And this is also in our retro series. If you see the nice bright cover, it's got King Kong, story of King Kong, um, a classic that everybody reads and um, with the new covers and uh, on the whole book is, is, a, is a bright yellow, the, the side of the book, the pages, which make it stand out. And, you know, it's really been a really popular book for us. And it's the whole story of King Kong, which Again, adults and youth like, like this story. The next book, also in our retro series, The Invisible Man. This also has got a brand new cover, bright, black, it has black with like a red lettering, which stands out. And also it's red, the pages are red, the, just the edge of the pages, not the page where you read. And also I forgot to mention, all these books have, uh, are in, are in um, bigger print, bolder print, so they're easier to read and with the bright colors and the new drawings and new covers, it seems to be, you know, um, attracting a, a newer generation. The next book is also in the retro series. Now this has got two stories in it. It's got uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and it's also got Treasure Island, all in the same book. And if you look at the, the new cover, it's a nice, a, really a, a nice cover. Um, it's got their um, Dr. Jekyll stirring a potion that he drinks and turns him into Mr. Hyde. And also the, the edge of the pages are black. So it also stands out. Bright new covers for the, uh, you know, uh, a classic that everybody, you know, should have in their library. The next book, Frankenstein. This is a, a, a modern version of Frankenstein. Brand new cover, bright cover. Also the pages are yellow on the side. And it's the 200th anniversary issue, reissue of this book. And um, like I said, it's one of the classics and everybody reads and with the new cover, it seems to be all again, drawing the newer generation to read this book. And it's all part of our retro series, which we have all, a lot of the classics in one series and it's called our retro series. Um, the next book I'll talk about, okay, this is a good book. This is, I distribute this for Penguin Random House. This is Frida Kahlo, it's a hardcover, it's a biography, it's got, it's got starts from her when she was first born up to the when she passed away, 
It has pictures in there, uh, great pictures that are, haven't been seen in years. Um, I actually got a picture of, um, uh, of when they were taking her to the, to when she died to the cemetery, oh no, she was cremated to the crematorium. And it's got a lot of pictures of her and Diego and, and a lot of pictures of, um, of her in, in different places when she was in Europe. And it's her full biography, it's a hardcover, uh, not, and it's a beautiful book. The cover, just look at the cover, and this book is really, really popular right now. So I do recommend it. It's through Penguin Random House, but we do distribute for them. Okay, our next book, another classic, uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, it's all his stories. And it's got here um, 41 of his, of his stories in here. So it's a uh, complete, of all, his, of all his stories, it's a hardcover, 500 pages, and um, it's really popular. It's one that all libraries should have, and it combines a lot of his stories. So it's, it's you know, instead of checking out different books, you can have them all in one book, hardcover, beautiful book, also uh, Penguin Random House, and I also distribute this book, and I'd recommend it for everybody's library or school. Okay, the next book. Magia para todos. This here is a book of magic for adults and kids and even teens. It shows magic tricks, um, learn card tricks, and has pictures that show actually how to do the tricks, explains them. And it's been really popular with the a younger crowd and adults. This one here was written by my cousin who's a magician in Mexico City. And he's on TV a lot in Mexico City. El, El Jack, Jack El Duende is his name. And um, he's, my, he's my cousin, so I do recommend this book. This is a book that we publish at Tomo. And um, like I said, it's a really great book if you wanna learn how to do magic, explains it, and who knows, you'll be doing tricks real soon. Okay, so let's talk about, oh, okay, this is another one. Love Poem by Pablo Neruda. This book here is a hardcover, has a, a lot of his poems, and it's, it's great for the libraries because it is a hardcover and it's, like I said, it's got a lot of his poems in here, and it's been really, really great for libraries because it's not paperback, so it'll last a lot longer. And it's, and it's got um, bold writing, so it's also good for your um, elder um, patrons. So I think it's a really good book that you should have in, in your library. The next book. Cocina Sana para con pizca de sabor. This is by Chef Carla Hernandez. Um, from Mexico City, and from and she's she's throughout Mexico. Um, this book here talks. It's a really beautiful cookbook with a lot of recipes that are healthy, but also very very good and tasty. So um, this book I highly recommend. That I've eaten many plates from this book, and they're wonderful. And it's very healthy cooking, but it's 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 really good. So I recommend this, and the pictures are fabulous. This book has been selling like crazy, so I would really recommend this for anybody that wants to uh, build up their cookbook section in their libraries or schools. Okay, the next book. Okay, this is another one, uh, Edgar Allan Poe, El Cuervo y Otros Cuen Textos. The reason I wanna talk about this one, this is a bilingual version. It's great, because on one side of the page it's in Spanish, the other side it's in English on the same page. So I one, you read one, if you want to read um, one side in Spanish, the next side is going to be in English. It's great for schools and for libraries. It's bilingual. It's also distributed by Penguin Random House, but I'm distributing this. This one has been selling a lot to um, um, schools and um, libraries that, that want to have more bilingual books. This is one of the few books I've seen in Red Girl and Poe. Well, I haven't really seen any other ones that are bilingual. So this would be a great, great one for your collection. Distributed by Penguin Random House and we have it available. Okay, in the next book. Okay, El, El Gran Libro de Costura. This book is by DK, also distributed for DK. Um, this book is, is a great book. It's a new edition, and it's got the tejidos, it's got from um, knitting, sewing, pictures. So this would be from the beginner all the way to somebody that's very advanced. If you wanna learn how to sew or if you have questions, this book from DK, and it's a beautiful big book. And you know, DK does really nice looking books. The pictures are great. Explanation is fabulous. This book here, it's been, um, you know, a lot of people have been buying it. 
I've actually um, talked to people at Joann's and they want to try to maybe try to sell it there to people that go into um, Joann's is like a sewing store that they have here in, in California. I'm not sure if it's around the East Coast, but it's a great book and they want to try to see if they can carry it there. I, I get this from Mexico from DK and it's a great book and I would recommend it for, you know, right now, especially when people are locked down, they're not going out too much. This would be a perfect book for them to have. Um, they could check it out, take it home, and then maybe take up sewing or knitting. It'd be a great book for them. Okay, the next book. Okay, and this is my last book. I hope I didn't go too fast, but this is a book on animals, also by DK. It's a brand new book coming out September 1st. This is the secret um, world of animals. So this one goes more into depth of the, you know, follows animals and there are a lot of things you maybe not know about animals, of uh, their habitats or their, what they like to eat. And so it's a beautiful book by DK. Also, uh, it was available September 1st, which is just a couple of days away. And it's a beautiful book with lots of pictures, would be great for adults and even children and, and young adults really like it. This book is, is really gonna go over well. I wanna show this book because uh, like I said, it's coming out September 1st. So if you wanna be one of the first to have it in your library, please contact me and, and let me know. And um, another thing I wanted to mention before we finish this is also, um, sell DVDs. So if anybody would want DVDs, please email me and I will go ahead and send you a list of DVDs. We have DVDs also. And um, let me know if you're interested in this book. I'm not sure if I've, if, uh, if I have any more time, but if not, I will open it up to questions. You're good with time. And I just want to remind everyone, if you have a question, you can go ahead and put it in the comment box. And we did get a comment from one of our librarians in New York area that Edgar Allan Poe is a favorite of many of the patrons who do come to the library. Um, so if there are any other questions, also I'd like to share that if you look at the comment box, you will also see links, not only for Tomo Books, but also for the Reforma Book Bus vendors. So go ahead and check that out. Any questions? Okay, seeing none, Anna, I leave, leave it up to you. Thank you, Manny. Well, thank you, Jesse. Uh, our second presenter is Kia from Latin American Bookstores. Latin America Bookstores is a corporate member of Reforma. For more information about this company and contact information, please visit reforma.org forward slash book bus. And remember to use our hashtag, all caps, Reforma Book Bus. Feel free to add your questions to the comment box during the presentation, and they will be answered at the end. As a reminder, this presentation is being recorded for future viewing, and also the previous presentations are now available online. Hola a todos, I'm Kia from Latin American Bookstores. Before we start, I want to talk a little about our company. Latin American Bookstore has been around for three decades. In our three years of experiences, we have developed productive relationships with hundreds of publishers. As you know, we publish a monthly list of new releases for adults and for children. But we also have become an important distributor of DVDs, which you can buy directly from us or through Midwest State. And we're going to present the new releases for adults. Well, to start, we have these two titles of LGTBI. The first one is Ahora que ya lo sabes. Now you know it. Everything I will have wanted to know before coming out of the closet. In this book, Oriol Pamies, a Spanish author, describes in detail all the information he will have wanted to have before his coming out. He describes the pain of his initial awareness, the shame he felt, the experience of rejection, and the questions that plagued him before coming out. He decided that his experience could help somebody, then he was ready. The next one is Pride, the fight for equality in the LGBTI movement. 
This title tells the story of the LGTBI movement in the U.S. From 1969, in the raid in the Stonewall Inn, a gay bar in New York, to our day. The book pays particular attention to the major accomplishments of committed activists who have contributed to the chaos, as well as major figures in specific fields. All the major aspects of the struggles for equal rights are put in context in this book. Next slide. Celda de Aislamiento, Isolation Cell. Imagine spending four decades in a six by nine cell. This memoir tells the story of Albert Woodbox, a young activist who had a troubled past, eventually a member of the Black Panthers, who was wrongly accused and quickly sentenced for a crime he did not commit. As he was serving out his sentence, a white guard was assassinated and Woodbox was blamed for the crime and sentenced to life in prison. It was not now until decades later that had a company lawyer helped him gain his freedom again. Felipe, El Oscuro, by journalist Olga Wernat, has the secrets, intrigues, and betrayals of the bloody six years in Mexico. This book tells the story of crime, corruption, and impunity of those years. This title was to be originally published eight years ago, but Olga Warnock's life was treated and she, and she had to leave Mexico. Next slide. In biographies, we have The Heart, Frida Kahlo in Paris. In January 1939, Frida Kahlo arrived in Paris. This biography describes those vibrant weeks that the painter spent in the French capital. There's also the biography of the scientist Marie Curie. And the last book is The 100 People Who Changed the Football Soccer. The, this is a review of the history of football soccer through the people who have contributed to change it. Also in biographies, we have the 999 Woman of Auschwitz. This is the extraordinary history of the young Jewish woman who arrived on the first train to us, which to work as a slave. Also, we have Una Mujer Sin Importancia. That is the story of Virginia Hall, the best secret agent during the Second World War and the most wanted by secret police of the Nazi German. For fiction, we have The Book of Passion. In this fascinating book, outer Maria Gonzalez Suarez inquires into the lives of miserably and lonely people that make crime and transgressions to the core of their lives. The 13 stories in this book tell the individual stories of two protagonists that have met hate, infidelity, betrayal, murder, resentment, the center of their lives. This book reveals the dark side of the human condition. Also, we have Frankenstein's Mother by Almudena Grandes, a Spanish writer. And this is a story of German Herman Velasquez, who returns to his country to work in a mental institution after spending 15 years studying and working in Switzerland. At the institution, he encounters Aurora Rodriguez, a woman he used to like as a young man. This is a novel about two people trying to leave their passes behind. And last, we have Her Face by Liliana Bloom, a Mexican writer. And it's about a woman who is called Hers face because of a bird defect and, the, and she develops a deep hostility and animosity against many people. And one day she decides to find a victim and then on that person as she feels has been unjustly given to her. And these three books are originally written in Spanish. Next slide, please. For historical fiction, we have these two titles that our new releases, they come out this month in August. And the first one is La Insurrecta by Guillermo Barba. And this is a fantastic novel that recreates a very little known passage of Mexico's independence period. The plot to kill Padre Miguel Hidalgo. Manuela Tabuada, wife of Mariano Aguasolo, a leader in the world of independence, realized that the promise made by Miguel Hidalgo to fight 
peacefully for independence was not going to be kept and that bloody battles would issue. That realization led her to plan Hidalgo's capture so that, so that he would be brought to justice. Guillermo Barba, the author, recreates in this mix of history and thriller fiction one of the most crucial times in Mexico's history. Also, we have Sabemos Como Vamos a Morir by Paco Ignacio Taibo, uh, who is one of the most controversial and best-selling authors in Mexico. Next, please. For nonfiction, we have three, these three titles. Our hell, as everyone here is aware, is perhaps the most important topic today. The understanding and knowledge of epidemics, breastfeeding, and depression will contribute for a better future to your, for your patients. So we recommend these books. Also in nonfiction, we have these, tri these three titles to bring our attention topics that are paramount in our times. Consumerism, the scientific understanding of the world we live in, and our vanishing attention to span. These two books are by the funniest and most acclaimed dynamic duo from social media, Pepe and Teo. With two fully illustrated books, they'll tell you how to take care of our relationship either with others or with yourself. Here you will find advice on love, sexuality, marriage, and stuff. They published these books to, um, together, and the first one is hashtag soy sola, it's like for single people. And the second one is hashtag Nitansola, and it's for marriage people. And it's in, they tell them his tips in, in a funny way. Next, please. For self-help, we have two super popular titles. And these titles encourage us to fulfill our dreams, to be daring and innovative to come to the obvious realization that we could indeed be better people. And the tree of us, the tree is, the first one is Asociación Realidad by Ruth Nieves, Pinta Fuera de la Raya by Susan Pick, and Soy Una Mierda, Quiero Seguir Siéndolo by Rebecca Niasi. Next, please. These two titles, help us understand how to recover our energy and how to understand changes in our bodies and in our energy levels. A bit of reality always helps. And the both are for, from Diana, a Polish Mexico. Next, please. The following three new age titles are published by leading publishing houses in the field. Gaia Ediciones, Librero, and Overon. In these times of COVID, they may help readers look beyond the immediate crisis. Next, please. And of course, these three titles try to make the connection with the cosmos, with dream, with astrology, with greater possible realities than the ones we live in. Next one. These, these three titles deal with the physical body and its health, from taking care of the liver and dealing with diabetes, and to understand our whole hormonal imbalances and the connection between stress and illness. So we recommend these books like to your libraries. For body and mind, we have these two little books of yoga, El Pequeño Libro del Yoga, and to mejor yo. Um, this, these two titles deal with body and exercise and our understanding of, of our bodies. Nutrition is a popular topic with library patrons. These three titles deal with plans to establish a balance in our bodies, understanding or why we eat and our relationship with food and stopping one of the most addictive and damaging agents in our diets, sugar.
for cooking, we have these three books. The first one is called Tasty and has more than 80 recipes and easy to make. The second one is Viva la Vida and it's written by a Mexican actress, Dominica Paleta. And the last one is Bazaar, a cookbook for, from Persia and the Middle East. La Cocina Sin Bla 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 is a series published by La Rousse in Spain. And this book has no text. It's, like, it's not like a regular cooking book. It only appears the image of the ingredient and, um, and, the, and they make an easy way to cook or the food. We have recetas vegetarianas and recetas express. As, and you can see in the sneak peek, of the book, it's very easy to make the, the food. Next, please. 10 steps, 10 pasos para salvar el planeta. 10 steps to align your head and heart and save the planet. In this book, you will find a guide to help you align your head and heart and change the way you think you can save the planet. Also, we have how to awaken the love of a plant and how to cultivate a green space in your home and in your heart. And the last one is Destinos Literarios, who is a inspired traveler's guide. And in this book, you can explore the landscapes and places that inspire great novels. The last ones, it's a series of graphic novels to tell us the story of Mexico from the past until these days. And it's in, it's still, it's, they tell the story in a funny and very graphic way. So it's very cool. And also it's gonna be a series of three books and now it's available the first one and the second one, Mexico Antes de Ser Mexico. And this is all for us. If you have any questions. Um, I don't see any questions. Oh, do all any presenters know if any original Spanish works presented will be translated to English? Um, no, I don't know if, if when it's going to be translated. Okay. And yeah, I'm trying to see uh, the information also for Latin American book source. It's, uh, it's in the chat and it's also going to be on Reforma website. And I don't see any other questions. Okay. Hey, well, thank you very much, Kia. Our thank third you. presenter is Mariela Diaz from Spanish Publishers. For more information about this company and contact information, please visit reforma.org slash bookbuzz. And remember to use our hashtag Reforma Bookbuzz. Feel free to add your questions in the comment box during the presentation and they will be answered at the end. As a reminder, these presentations are being recorded for future viewing. Welcome, Mariela. Oh, Mariela, you're muted. Oh, still muted. Edwin, could you help with unmuting? Mariela, I just asked. There, there you are. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me right now? Yes. You're okay. Good. Great. 
Uh, good afternoon. Many thanks to the organizers of this uh, event for inviting me to participate. Uh, it's an honor to be here at this Zoom conference, sharing this presentation of wonderful books that I'm sure will be part of your collection. My name is Mariela Diaz, and I have been working for Spanish publishers for 11 years. Our company represents 10 publishers from Spain and three publishers from Mexico. We have exclusive distribu distribution for these uh, 13 publishers in the US. Our warehouse is in Miami and uh, we have stock available in Miami. We have more than 6,000 uh, titles in Spanish in our backlist. We are representing more than, we are presenting more than 100 new releases per month more than 25 categories that will help to have the best collection of books in your library. Even though we don't sell directly to public libraries, we can customize according to your needs so that you have the best selection of titles available in your collection. You will have to order them through your preferred distributor. Um, thank you, Edwin, please. Okay. Here I have a very nice collection of Julia Quinn. It's a number one bestseller author, and we will have soon Netflix series of the Bridgerton romantic novels. As you can see, the first one that I have here is Por un beso. It's in his keys, but then you have Buscando esposa, El duque y yo, El visconde que me amó, Te doy mi corazón, Seduciendo a Mr. Bridgerton, Hacer Philip con amor, El Corazón de Una Bridgerton. So uh, this book ha have sold millions of copies around the world and they have been translated into 32 languages. So please um, wait for the next uh, series. Will be, will be released very soon. The next one, please. En la tierra somos fugazmente grandiosos. On earth we are briefly gorgeous. Uh, this one is a fiction book, and I can, uh, the, the English edition has an Amazon bestseller rank number one in LGBT coming of age fiction books, and number 10 in Asian American literature and fiction. Uh, you have reviews from New York Times, you have reviews from San Francisco Chronicle, reviews from uh, the New York Times uh, book review. Um, this is a literary book. So, um, next one, please. Siempre demasiado, nunca suficiente. Uh, too much and never enough. How my family created the world's most dangerous man. This one is an Amazon bestseller rank. Number one in books. Number one in US presidents. Number one in political leader biographies. Uh, it's a uh, definitely writing account of cross-generational trauma. Mary Trump brings to this account the insider perspective of a family member, the observational and analytical abilities of a clinical psychologist. This one is a Washington Post review. Um, this book, the English edition, have been uh, sold for less than 30 days, I think. One million copies already sold. In uh, Amazon, in, um, in, in, okay, Amazon rank in Spanish is number two in bio biographies and memoirs. Um, you also have Kirkus reviews on this book. Uh, next one, please. Descalabrados, the resented from Carlos Cuauhtémoc Sanchez. He is a very well-known author from Mexico an excellent story of forgiveness that interest, interests us all, easy to read and highly interactive, includes scan codes to listen and then release songs. Um, Se necesita algo más que sangre para ser familia. Algo de, uh, something from this book, from this very well-known author, Carlos Guantemoc Sanchez. Uh, Next one, please. Pandemia, Pandemic. This one is a book from Anagrama, Present Chronicles, and it's all about the pandemia that we are having in 
starting in this 2020. Um, it's about COVID. Amazon bestseller rank, it's number 12 in psychology books, number 52 in philosophy books, number 54 in sociological study of medicine. It's an impressive feat. The author is at his most powerful level. And this one is a review from The Guardian. So you will have reviews from New York, The New Yorker. And uh, also what I was trying to do with this presentation is having the, a brief description of the book in English and Spanish. Uh, let's go to the next one, please. Como hacer las paces con el otro sexo? Men, Women, and Relationship. This book is from Ediciones Obelisco from Spain. It's a parenting and family book. Um, it's uh, the author is number one best-selling relationship author of all time. He is the author of the New York Times number one best-selling. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Uh, his books have sold over 50 million copies in 50 different languages around the world. You will have reviews from Publishers Weekly. Also, let's, let's go to the next one, please. Recordar quien soy, remembering who am I, remembering who I am from Enrique Corvera. He is also another very well-known uh, author. Uh, as you can see, uh, followers in Facebook, uh, five, five, 576,000 followers, YouTube, 500, 536,000 subscribers. Instagram, 571,000 followers. So he is a, a very well-known author. Um, Enrique Corvera was recognized as a, the ambassador of peace. Uh, this distinction granted by Mil Millennials, the Paz and P Foundation. His books are great international success, succeed and in them, he offers answers for all those who don't believe in coincidence and what to choose how to live. The book preserves and reproduces the author's freshness, humor, and communication skills, and always leaves the reader in a sense of good taste. It includes photos of the conferences and also famous phrases of great thinkers with a humanistic method of acknowledge of different disciplines providing emotional health. Uh, let's go to the next one, please. Depredadores, Catch and Kill. Uh, this one is Present Chronicles. As you can see, is uh, Amazon bestseller rank number four in biographies and espionage, number six in sociology, number seven in corruption. Uh, uh, this was the awards for these books are Time Must Read Book of 2019, NPR Favorite Book of 2019, Washington Post Best Notification Book 2019, Los Angeles Times Best Book of 2019, Chicago Tribune Best Book of 2019, Fortune Best uh, Business Book of 2019, Bloomberg News Best Book of the Year, the Telegraph in UK, best book of 2019. Kirkus, best notification books of 2019. A Chicago Public Library, best book of 2019. Library Journal, best social science book of 2019. So this, was, this is a wonderful book. It's a must have book. Okay, let's go to the next one, please. Zero Frequency, El Camino Más Fácil Hacia La Paz, La Felicidad y La Abundancia. Uh, the author of this book is Mabel Katz. She is writing in English too, so the reference that you have here are for the English edition. Amazon rank uh, 27 in Inner Child Self-Help, 49 in Midlife Management. Uh, as you can see, the fo Facebook followers 810,000 uh, followers, YouTube, 
211,000 followers. Mabel Katz is also very recognized for the Hoponopono books. So this is also a must have book. You will see um, reviews from Miguel Ruiz, Don Miguel Ruiz, and uh, from uh, New York Times. Let's go to the next, please. Libro de la Cocina del Código de la Obesidad, The Obesity Code Cookbook. Jason Funk, he is very well known, a very well-known author. This one is a cooking book. At the same time, Amazon Best Rank, Amazon Best Seller Rank is number six in diabetic and sugar-free cooking in books, number 20 in weight loss recipes, number 30 in low-carbohydrate diets. The companion cookbook to the international bestseller, The Obesity Code, recipes to help you manage and control your insulin lose weight and improve your health. Um, let's see, uh, Dr. Jason Fung has inspired thousands of people around the world to transform their diets with his groundbreaking book, The Obesity Code. Now uh, with uh, mouth-watering recipes, The Obesity Code uh, cookbook is an indispensable tool for home cooks looking to lower insulin, lower weight, manage diabetes, or simply let a healthy, longer life. Uh, next one, please. Comunica con éxito, Communicate with Success by Ricardo Aires. He is an author from Spain. It's a personal growth. Followers in Facebook, uh, 12,000. In YouTube, 45,000. Real effective communication occurs by tuning in hertz, not in brains. This book offers there are reliable tools to achieve it. Communicate with Success is a book with much more than transmitting information. It consists of transmitting from the heart with passion, confidence, and control. Uh, Ricardo Aries is the creator and founder of the Method, Método Integra, a transformation methodology at the subconscious level, which allows the resolution of any type of conflict or reaching any objective. Uh, let's go to the next one, please. Di lo que quieres decir. Say what you want. Say what you mean. It's also a translation for, it's a personal growth, Amazon ranked best, uh, bestseller, number 44 in communication reference, number uh, 67 in communication and media studies. Uh, offer, Orange Jay Software offers a, br a brilliant interweaving of focus, presence, and artful engagement. Our work, family, and other relationships will benefit from his guidance. This one is a review from Daniel Goldman, the author of The Emotional Intelligence, which is also another very popular uh, title. Uh, let's go to the next one, please. Cenas para peques, meals for kids. This one is a cooking book. Uh, Maria Marin Alonso uh, is an author from Spain. She has uh, 74,000 followers in Instagram. This book is an attractive book with colorful photos of each recipes that Maria Marin, a YouTuber and Instagrammer with thousands of followers of her children's recipes. It offers meals, ideas, not only for dinner, but for any time of the day. The book collects 50 recipes with vegetables and the main protagonist, simple ideas, and affordable ingredients to cook quickly and easy, easily the menus of the little ones of the house. Uh, let's go to the next one, please. El Poder Sanador de los Baños de Bosque. The healing magic of forest bathing. Finding calm, creativity, and connection in the na natural world. This one is a health and fitness book. Uh, fascinating uh, work that will suit even the 
Busiest of Minds is uh, uh, a review from Deepak Chopra, which is uh, everybody knows he's uh, very well, uh, it, he's a very well known author. Um, and forest bathing is the art of spending international time in nature. It's a practice to improve health and restore well being as a way to unplug, relieve stress and anxiety and to spark creativity. This book enables to uh, incorporate the benefits of uh, time spent in nature into your life to find a deeper meaning. Let's go to the next one, please. La Prometida from uh, Kira Kass. So this one is uh, the next series from, remember, uh, the selection. So this one is a new series. La Prometida will be the first book of the series. Uh, new York Times bestseller. Amazon bestseller rank number 47 in teen young adult friendship fiction. Number 48 in young adult girls and women fiction. Number 93 in teen young adult uh, fantasy romance. Fans of the selection series will anxiously await the second installment of this duology to learn Holy's faith. A review from School, School Library Journal. Also, you have reviews from Publishers Weekly. So this is going to be uh, another uh, very good series uh, from uh, this uh, author, Kiera Gas. Um, let's go to the next one, please. El Libro de la Oscuridad, this one is book number two. La Comunidad Secreta, The Secret Commonwealth, The Book of Dust for, by uh, Philip Pullman. It's a translation, it's a young adult book. It's uh, the number one New York Times bestseller, Amazon bestseller rank, number two in teen young adult literary fiction, number 52 in teen young adult Friendship Fiction, and number 58 in teen and young adult survival stories. Now an HBO original series based on the Philip Pullman's new bestselling masterwork, The Book of Dust. As always, Pullman's writing is uh, simple, unpretentious, beautiful, true. Uh, this is a review from the Washington Post. You also have reviews from the New Statesman. Um, Let's go to the next one, please. Maria, Mariela, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. You have three minutes. Sure. Billie Eilish, The Essential uh, Fun Guide. So everybody, all the young adult uh, people starting from maybe 12, 13 years old would love this book. Followers in Instagram, 65 millions. In YouTube, 32 millions. In Facebook, 19 millions. Amazon rank number five in teen young adult popular music. So uh, with this, I say, I, I already said everything. Please go to the next book, please. Las Princesas Pueden Ser Astronautas. This one is a children's book. Uh, reviews from Bloomsbury, Bloomsbury uh, Review. Uh, these do princes go on a mission to Mars? Astronauts always reach for the stars. Do princes grow? up to the librarians, teachers and builders and veterinarians. This book tells girls that the sky's the limit as to what they can achieve. Let's go to the next one, please. Semillas y Arboles, Seeds and Trees uh, from Picarona is another children's book. You can see the Amazon bestseller ranks number one in children's American folk tales number two in school age children, number three in parenting emotions and feelings, number five in children's social studies books. Let's go to the next one, please. So I have a great uh, surprise for you. This is going to be the actor where we'll start uh, publishing in English. This is the first time that we're going to publish in English and Spanish, uh, one book in Spanish, one in English. It will be released in uh, November, and we have some. Uh, we have uh, a video from the author that's going to be uh, presented by Edwin. Edwin, would you please share the videos?
Hola mis amigos, uh, soy Miguel Ruiz y tengo el gusto de presentarles a ustedes una serie de libros que vamos a iniciar con edito Editorial Urano. Esta serie de libros es acerca de la escuela, escuela de los Misterios y el primer libro que va a salir en noviembre es El Actor, en la cual nos vamos a dar cuenta de que toda nuestra vida hemos actuado y pretendemos ser lo que creemos ser. Una vez que descubrimos esto, podemos cambiar nuestra vida completamente. Espero que se nos unan y lean este fabuloso libro. Hola mis amigos, soy Miguel Ruiz. Hola mis amigos, soy Miguel Ruiz y tengo el gusto de presentarles a ustedes una serie de libros. I apologize, I seem to have missed the English version of this. Um, of the video. Here it is, I just found it, I apologize. Hello, my friends. This is uh, Tom Miguel Ruiz, author of The Four Agreements. And I have the pleasure to introduce to you a new series of books that we created with Editorial Urano. And this is about a mystery school. Then the very first book is The Actor. And the ones we will be aware that we are, be, that we are acting all of our life. And when we discover that, we can see that we can change the way we live our life. You guys have all of my love and all my blessings. So thank you so much. Uh, if you have any questions. Okay, there were several questions in the chat box um, for you, um, Mariela, and also for the um, other uh, presenters as well. Um, and I'd also like to mention that in the chat box, there was a comment from someone who says, one of the participants says, I like Spanish publishers. I bought some of these titles already. Oh, so great. Good. Um, and this question is for you, Mariela, but also the other, um, uh, the other presenters were also asked the same question. So are these books available in ebook format? Uh, I think so. We don't deal with ebooks, but I think so through, it should be through AMA books or Libranda books. They will have these, uh, the ebooks for these titles. Mm -hmm. Kia or Jesse? Um, yeah, our books are not available yet on ebooks, but we are working on that and hopefully soon. Uh, I'll send an update to the Reforma. Kia, did you want to add anything? Okay, so uh, another question was, are, are, and this is for all of you, are any titles, can, are there any titles that you can recommend in regard to COVID-19? Um, yes, Pandemia. Pandemia, one of my uh, books in this presentation is, is perfect. It's just uh, a book that was released in, uh, three months ago. Yeah, no, unfortunately, I don't, I don't have any books on COVID-19, uh, but uh, I'll start looking for some to try to add to our website. Okay, we may have lost Kia for a minute, but hopefully she'll jump in when she gets the chance. Um, and then this question was for, um, for you, Jesse, but I have a feeling that the, uh, the other presenters might have an answer to this as well. Do you, plan to, do you plan to publish more bilingual books? Apparently there's a great demand for bilingual books. Yeah, um, yeah if you contact me, I have a list of bilingual books I can email you. Um, we are looking at publishing more, but, but I have quite a bit of children and some adult. We have some more classics. Um, some Shakespeare, also bilingual. I have some Shakespeare that's also bilingual. So if you will send me an email or contact me through our website, I will send you a list out. And, um, and we continue to add some more every month. So um, if you're interested, I'll email you every month with new, new selections. Okay, Mariela. Yeah, we do have from Selector, the publisher in Mexico. 
we do have some books for kids that are bilingual, especially classic books, classics books. Yeah, we do have. Awesome, great. Okay, um, there are a few more new questions in the chat. Um, let's take a look. Okay, there's a clarification that the last book has the wrong ISBN, that it should be, well, you can all look at that at the chat, in the, in the chat box, so you can see the correct ISBN or I'm not sure for which title it was, but if you want to go ahead and add that. Um, another comment here, looking for books on opening up small businesses, business planning, real estate, resume building, job searching. Uh, Mariela, your, your, your mic is on, so go ahead and answer that question. Uh, you said business. We do have lots of books for business. We, we actually work with seven, uh, 25 categories, so we will find a great selection. We have... Uh, let me see, I have here the list. Fiction General, Health and Fitness, Biography and Memoirs, Children, Mind, Body and Spirit, Personal Growth, Self-Help, Sexuality, Religion and Spirituality, Sports, Young Adult, Business and Economics, Nutrition and Dieting, Travel, Kabbalah, Cooking, Dreams. We have a little bit of everything. Okay, awesome. Uh, Jesse? Yes. Um, yeah, I do have some. If you'd like to email me or, or uh, they're not on the website, but if you can email me at tomobooksusa51 at gmail.com, I can send you the selection that we do have. And I think I even have some DVDs that deal in that, those subjects. I'll have to check if they're still available, but if they are, I can also give you the list of DVDs that we offer. Okay, great. Awesome. Uh, I think we lost Kia for a bit, but if, uh, if, if before I get done here, if, if you hear me, Kia, you can go ahead and turn on your mic and jump in. Um, so just want to remind everyone that this, is, this session is being recorded and will be made available later. Um, additionally, a lot of the information that has come through this session is available in the chat. So there's a lot of contact information in there. So be sure to look at that. Take it away, Anna. Well, thank you to all presenters from Toma Books, Latin American Bookstores, and Spanish Publishers. This is the last event of the Reforma Virtual Spanish Language Book Fund Summer Series, featuring 16 distributors and publishers. To finalize, I'm delighted to include Reforma Vice President Nicanor Diaz, who will be closing the series and saying a few words about Reforma mission and the purpose of this series. Thank you, Anna. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Nicanor Diaz. I'm the uh, Vice President, President-Elect for Reforma National, and I've been involved with Reforma in some sort of way or another, either through Reforma National or through the Colorado chapter for over 10 years. Uh, I am currently working at the Denver Public Library as the Immigrant Services Manager. Um, gracias a todos por participar en, en estas sesiones informativas organizadas por Ana, Levy, con ayuda de Erwin, Madeline, Celia y Ana Campos. Hay que aprovechar todas las oportunidades que tenemos para aprender sobre la literatura en español, ya que es nuestra responsabilidad como miembros de Reforma y de las organizaciones informativas y las bibliotecas para fom fomentar la lectura. So thank you all for participating in this summer's book buzz organized by Anna and Libby with help from Madeline, Edwin, Celia, and Anna. Luckily, I had the opportunity to sit on a couple of these sessions and I enjoyed every single one of them. So a little bit of history about Reforma. It was founded in 1971 by Dr. Arnulfo Trejo. It's uh, an affiliate of the American Library Association. We have currently 20 active chapters throughout the United States. There's about 20 standing committees that work on bringing programs like this one to folks who enjoy promoting library and information services to the Spanish speaking. Our goal is to develop Spanish language and Latinx oriented library collections through webinars like this one, the Libros Festival organized by the Los Angeles Public Library last year, which was amazing. I had the opportunity to attend and general membership support through our Reforma listservs. We help organizations recruit bilingual, multicultural library staff, and we have a job board that helps promote many employment opportunities for our members. We promote libraries and librarianships among Latinx and advocate on behalf of the information needs of the Latinx community. We also have a lot of benefits for our members. Just to highlight a couple, 
Reforma provides scholarships such as the Rose Trevino Memorial Scholarship for folks pursuing a degree in children's or young adult librarianship. We have a lot of grant opportunities as well. The Reforma National Grant supports chapters developing programs that further Reforma's mission. We award Noche de Cuentos grants that helps libraries create programs that promote the importance of storytelling. And Dia del Niño grants, which also support libraries with Dia del Niño programming. We recognize Latin, Latinx authors who best portray, affirm, and celebrate the Latino cultural experience in an outstanding work of literature for children and youth through the Pura del Pre Award. Other benefits include professional development and enrichment, Spanish language book fairs, and social and cultural support and leadership development. I will say that over the last 10 years, what I have gotten the most out of Reforma is building these long lasting relationships and getting to work with folks throughout the entire country that have a passion for serving our Spanish speaking community. Thank you all for participating and please consider becoming a member of Reforma if you are not one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I have a comment right now. Uh, my sister, which is in Ecuador right now, is uh, in this uh, Zoom conference. So thank you so much, sister. She's, she's in Ecuador. So it's, this uh, Zoom is international right now. Thank you, Mariela. That's great to know. Um, thank you, Nicanor, for those great words. Uh, I just uh, would like to st extend our gratitude to all of the distributors and publishers who presented in our first Reforma Virtual Spanish Language Book Bus Summer Series. Thank you to the organizing committee, Ana Avalos, Libby Romero, Edwin Rodarte, Madeline Peña, and Ana Campos for putting this series together. Thank you all for attending one or some or all of the sessions of this series. We hope that you enjoyed the presentations and that you are able to acquire the excellent materials presented for your work locations. Just as a reminder, these recordings and the recording, these recordings, the presentation slides and the recordings for the previous um, presentations will be made available on the Reforma website. Reforma is an affiliate of the American Library Association. We've brought this program series free of charge. If you would like to support Reforma, consider becoming a member, volunteering or donating. Go to reforma.org slash get hyphen involved. Thank you very much, gracias. Que pasen un lindo día. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.